All right. You guys saw what happened last week. Inflation numbers came in low. Mortgage rates plummeted over a half a percent on rate in most scenarios. Is this a sign of things to come? Are mortgage rates on the downtrend? Is this just a temporary thing? Will the Fed, quote unquote, pivot? Stay tuned. I'm going to talk about it in this video. What's going to happen the rest of 2022 into 2023, in my humble opinion, and the things we got to look out for. All right, Matt, the Mortgage Guy, residential mortgage broker licensed across the country. If you want to connect with me and my team, go to greatmortgagebroker.com. Fill out the quick form. Let us know where you're at and how we can help. In today's video, I want to talk about mortgage interest rates. Last week, when the inflation number came out a um, lot lower than expected, we saw a dramatic pullback in mortgage interest rates. Much needed relief for a lot of buyers um, to see mortgage rates get better by over half a percent in one day. What does this mean for mortgage interest rates? Is this just a temporary blip? Is it a sign of things to come? I think this is what everybody is asking, at least the people that are reaching out to me, right? Should I hurry up and go buy something while I can get a 5.99%? Are rates going to continue to fall the rest of this year into next year? Important things to follow and important things to think about, right? The Federal Reserve controls a lot of this. An inflation number controls what the Fed is going to do. So important dates to think about for next month. December 13th is when November's inflation data comes out. Important date, 5.30 um, Pacific Standard Time, the morning of December 13th, we're going to get that inflation number. December 14th is when the Fed is going to announce their next rate hike. Now, if you've listened to this channel or you've followed anything, you understand that whether the Fed increases the Fed funds rate by 0.5 or any other number on December 14th, and whether they raise it by 0.25 on February 1st, 2023, or any different number is, you know, a lot less important than all the things they talk about in the meantime, meaning like, 0.5 on December 14th and 0.25 on February 1st is already in the soup, right? We've already mixed that in. It's already been baked into the cake. If the Fed gets data that tells them we need to go stronger and they can do 75 basis points on December 14th, it can be market moving. If they get another great inflation number and they go down to 0.25 on December 14th, that can be market moving. If it comes in as expected, um, meaning the inflation number, and the Fed does what is expected on December 14th, which is a 50 basis point hike, then you're not going to see a lot of market movement, right? It's when they change course. They've already plotted out what they've um, got planned for the next few months. When they change course, it affects the market. It affects mortgage rates. So there's three steps to what would be considered a Fed pivot. If you don't know what Fed pivot means, they've got their foot on the gas. They are increasing interest rates to quell inflation. A pivot would be them going the other way, right? And um, being easing on, on interest rates, being, being you know quantitative easing, meaning interest rates are coming down, at least on the mortgage side, right? So um, three steps to the pivot would be one, slow down. And that's in the cards, right? We've we've been doing 75 basis point hikes. We'd go down to 50 basis points and we go down to 25. The second step of the pivot would be to pause altogether, <clears throat> have some Fed meetings where there's no uh, mortgage interest rate hikes at all, right? It just stays the same once they hit that target, which I think they're targeting, you know, four and a half percent on the Fed funds rate. Um, and if they do 0.5 on December 14th and then 0.25 on February 1st, they'd get there. They'd press pause, a number of meetings of that based on the data they get, based on the direction they're going. The third step of that pivot would actually be to pull interest rates back down, right? And so um, all this is subject to how the inflation numbers come in, right? If they continue to come down, then everyone's going to look and say, look, 
Look at the June um, inflation number. Like that was our peak. We're headed down now. Um, and um, I, I believe offhand that June number was like 9.1% or something like that with, with regards to inflation. So if we get a December 13th number that is lower than the 7, 8 number we got at the last reading, and it's showing inflation continuing to go down, no doubt the Fed could do something like 25 basis points on December 14th. They could still do 50 basis points and talk about 25 in February or zero in February or future plans of a quote unquote pause, right? But I think it's the same play as last time. And if you want to think about what's going to happen with mortgage interest rates, inflation is going to play a huge, huge role. After that inflation number comes out, you listen to the Fed and what they're talking about, right? So um, we saw this decrease in mortgage interest rates. It should stick, right? Um, it's going to depend on what the Fed talks about, right? Over the next few weeks, um, the Fed is going to have more and more Fed members talking about the inflation number that came out last week, what it means for the markets, what it means for them and their strategy and going forward and all that hoopla, right? So um, stay tuned. Mortgage rates hang in the balance. And, you know, those next two Fed meetings, the December 13th inflation number, which is the November reading, all are going to have a huge um, impact and effect on where mortgage rates head in the future. If you're asking me my personal opinion, I think that inflation numbers will start to come down. Interest rates will start to come down. I called it before. I'll call it again. By Q2 of 2023, um, I think mortgage rates will have a five in front of them on a 30-year fixed rate loan for well-qualified buyers buying a primary residence. That's just me. You know, some people say mortgage rates will reach 10%. I don't see it, right? So um, that's my best guess based on the information that's been provided to me. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Me and my team are happy to help. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend. Again, greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out the form. Me and my team will be in touch. If you want to connect with a real estate agent anywhere across the country, go to homeandmoney.com forward slash Matt. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we gonna see. You.